hey everybody welcome back um i'm here with a new video today finally so i'm gonna be installing this wig that i got i'll show y'all what it looks like starting and what i got at the end and everything i did basically to make it look how it looks here so just keep watching if you want to see how i did that so this wig is from supernova here i'm just gonna show y'all everything that comes in the box so you basically get the wig you get um, some wig caps, and you get a, pat, a satin bag to hold the wig in, an elastic band, and like a little edge scarf. So this is what the wig looks like, just right out the box. It's pretty good. The lace looks like it's pre-plucked. Um, it's medium brown. It's a pretty good wig. So uh, I'm gonna take you out through the steps of how I prepare it now. See, it's kind of like already pre-plugged, but I'm gonna just plug it a little bit more. And in my opinion, it's easy to just get, it's easier to get like closures and frontals that are already pre-plugged. It just um, is less plucking for you to do basically. Because even with the pre-plucked ones, you still want to do a little bit of plucking just to make it look more natural. Now, I'm not going to include the whole plucking process on here, but if you guys want to see, let me know. Basically, just pluck it to your liking. Um, I could talk about that more at another time. Also, how I define my parts. I did also bleach my knots off camera. I will leave a link to that video too for you guys if you want to see it. Now I'm just doing more prep, I'm blow drying it, um, and then you're gonna see me start hot combing the lace, which is a major key, that is a very important step. Do not skip this step. If you don't have a hot comb, get one. Y'all gonna see me hot comb the fuck out of this wig, like literally a hundred times, but it's so worth it. It makes it look so neat and polished. It's like my favorite part. And look at this, this is just beautiful. Like, this is just so satisfying. It looks so good. I didn't even put anything on the hair yet. Um, but yeah, that's how it looks. And then next we're going to get into the install. Alright, so here's all braided up with my cap on. I just did like six straight back braids. Um, I put a cap on over it. I'm not really the best braider, so I don't know if I can help you there. But just try and watch some videos on how to braid your hair if you're not really sure how to do it. Um, I'm gonna start putting this wig on my head now and I didn't use the band that came in the box I use my own band because I have adjustable bands which I like better because you can make it as tight or as loose as you want it so I just sew on a band off camera before this part that's like the only other thing I did so now I'm just putting the wig on making sure it fits properly lining it up with my part and you can see already it just looks really good. Like it just fits on my head perfectly. The lace blends in, it's sitting nice on my head. Everything looks tight. And I'm just fixing the combs now, making sure everything is attached. But you can see even now it looks really good. Like I could have left it just like this and just finished styling it. But I did want baby hair so you're gonna see me start to do the baby hair process in a second and i usually make my own wigs but um i can't find any wig caps right now with this whole quarantine thing so i just went and bought a pre-made wig and here i'm just like pulling out the hairs from my baby hair i pulled out a little bit too much so i'm just thinning it out with the tweezer um i felt like it was a little bit too much hair there anyway so i just wanted to make it a little thinner so, like I said, you don't need to do the baby hair, but I wanted it um, just a little bit. Baby hair is probably like low key the hardest part of this whole thing. Like, baby hair is so hard for me, but I'm getting better every day. So, I'm just using mousse to like smooth it down. And then I'm cutting it, and now I'm gonna start like forming it. Sometimes you get like a hair that might be too long. You can go back and cut it. So just play with it until it looks right. And I like to use mousse on mine because I don't like them to look hard. So 
but use whatever products you like. So the baby hairs look pretty good. I'm gonna just move on to the next part. Um, just putting some mousse at the front of my hairline. And then I'm gonna actually start to secure the lace down in the front. So today I'm using this melting spray from Wig Dealer. Um, usually I use Got To Be Glue, but I bought this a while ago and I still have like a lot of it. So I just wanted to use it. And I actually like it a lot. It's very similar to Got To Be Glue, but to me it just sprays better, like it's not as messy. And um, yeah, I like it, it's just easier to work with for me. The Got To Be Glue gel just, I mean the spray comes out so messy, it just like runs all over the place. This kind of reminds me of like a mix between like spritz and the Got To Be Glue. So I'm just spraying it over the baby hair and on like pretty much the whole front of the lace. Um, just making sure the baby hairs look good fixing anything that needs to be fixed before I tie it down which I'm gonna do now and this is the band that came with the wig um, I'm gonna use this to secure my hairline basically so if you ever get any of those extra elastic bands don't throw them away you can use them to lay your lace down they work really good because it holds it tight um, and then again with the hot comb you know hot comb is my life so you're gonna see me do that a whole bunch of times and now I'm just flat ironing my hair. I started it on camera, but it was just so hard for me to see what I was doing like this. I ended up finishing it off camera. It's like really hard. I don't know how people do their hair on, on camera. The little ass monitor, I was really struggling. I already can't see, so. So I'm just doing like finishing touches. Going over the front with the hot comb. And then I'm gonna finish pressing my hair and come back. So while my hairline is setting, I'm going to go in and clean up my part. Um, so I'm using some concealer and an angle eyeliner brush. And I'm just going to go in and clean it up. It looks good already, but this is just to make it more sharp and it makes everything look really neat. Make sure you use something that's not too white because it's going to be very noticeable, especially when you take pictures. So try to use something that's similar to like your foundation shade. And then for my actual hairline, I'm gonna go with like a darker powder <laughs> and just add some. The perimeter of your hair, the perimeter of your head is always a little bit darker, so that's why I use a darker powder there. And I'm just fixing it up. Sometimes when you take the band off the front of your head, it's like a little bit messed up, so I'm just brushing it out a little bit. So at this point, I think I was pretty happy with how everything is looking. My forehead is a little bit red from having the band tied down, but it looks really nice. So easy. It's really pretty. This hair was really nice. I didn't really have to do much to it. I didn't even really put much product in it. I put a little bit of wax on the top part just to lay down the flyaway hairs, but that's pretty much it. No serum, nothing. Just letting y'all get a close up on that lace, honey. Okay, I like it. I like it. Yep, now I'm about to um, get dressed to go to the living room so y'all can see how I'm looking. 
So this is the final look. I hope you guys liked it. I hope it was easy to follow. If you have any questions about anything or I didn't explain it properly, just leave me a comment. I'll try to answer whatever I can. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully sooner than later. And I hope you all are staying safe. And until next time, bye.